two up. In this unique documentary, we've been following the lives of two children. One born to an upper class couple living in Hampshire. We're going to call him Timothy after his uncle. His uncle Arthur. <laughs> And the other, born to an unmarried working class couple living in a condemned mobile home on Gunner Street Refuse Tip. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of your new baby, Wayne? It's alright. It's alright. Burbeam! <laughs> uh... is now seven. How has he changed? Uh, Tim, what do you think of working class people? Well, I think they smell because they don't have baths. <laughs> because unfortunately their baths are full of coal. And they live in hovels and they don't treat their servants very well. And really, it's kind of not to educate them at all because it gives them aspirations. And some of them have no shoes and they use buses and their crockery is too thick. And they're very stupid. You obviously have a lot of strong opinions, Tim. I'm not Tim, you oik. I'm Giles. Tim's over there in the corner talking to the lampstand. Come on, do you like maths? Tim, uh, Tim, would you say that for you, class is a problem? Yes, trouble problem. I'm, I'm hopeless at everything. Tables, <laughs> spelling, memory tests. Tables, spelling, <laughs> yes, silver, yes, sir. Slob, <laughs> slob, <laughs> slob. I am smoking a bag. Nice but thin. Nice but thin. Nice but thin. Nice but dim. Nice but dim. Uh, Nicholson. Here. At age seven, our two future citizens of Britain were introduced to each other in a playground. Oh, do you like pets? I've got a hamster. Well, I've got lice. When I grow up, I want to be a footballer and an Olympic Wait. runner. I want to fight in the war, and I want to drink in pubs, and I want to be Bruce Lee, and I want to fight in pubs like my dad. And most of all, I want to be a managing director of a crisp factory. This is Wayne's report. Uh, as you can see, last term we put could do better. This term, we were wrong. We couldn't do better. <laughs> Tim is now 12, and his family have put him down at public school. Uh, why do you want to come to Eton? It's a long family tradition. Yes, but as far as I'm aware, none of your family have ever been to Eton. Yeah, but we've all come along for this interview. <laughs> Tim is finally accepted for Chartbury, a minor public school in Dorset, provided he gets through the entrance. <laughs> Which he does at the third attempt. At 12, Wayne has decided to opt out of formal education. Wayne, what did you come away from school with? Uh, a telly, overhead projector, a bottle of sherry and a couple of goalposts. <laughs> he now spends most of his time with his new friend, Wayne Netter. We're going to be engaged. No, we ain't. All right, girls. I fancy him. <laughs> I'm going to play football, man. Ah, oh, get off! Tim at 12 was still in a single-sex school. Tim, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no comment. I've always been very keen on football. Attention, nice but dim. Right. You have one hour for your physics exam. And when I say so, turn your papers over. Right. Turn your papers over. <laughs> Blank. That's peasy.
At 17, Wayne and Waynetta are still together and as devoted as ever. Who is in that bleeding shirt? I am a new romantic! <laughs> Get out! Tim, you're 17 now. Do you have a girlfriend? Tim, what do you want to do when you leave school? Well, very keen on being an astronaut. Why is that? I've always liked horses. <laughs> and I'll find out more about it in my year off when I'm 18, between my O levels and O level retakes. What about Wayne Atta? We're going to get married. We are not. We are! We are not! Yeah, we're getting married. And are you hoping to have children? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. And what sort of world would you like them to grow up in? Disney World. At 21, Wayne declines to take part in the documentary for ethical and practical reasons. <laughs> While Tim has gone off round the world. We meet them again at 28. Looking back, Tim, what would you say was your greatest regret, Tim? Oh, oh um, I think probably uh, going around the world. Well, that sounds a strange thing to regret. Well, I meant to get the shuttle to Edinburgh, so yeah. <laughs> it was a long flight. Ended up in uh, Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> sounds quite like Edinburgh on the, on the tannoy. And do you have a girlfriend yet? So, Tim, do you think you have anything in common with Wayne? Oh, yes. I uh, just found out we're both the same age. It's quite remarkable. I mean, uh, <laughs> got, uh, quite a lot of mutual friends, like you, the cameraman, and <laughs> the man with the cuddly toy. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Wayne, you're now 28 and unemployed. What do you think you'll be in seven years' time? 33, you know, obviously. <laughs> Well, that's where we differ, you see, because I'll be 48. <laughs> <laughs> Maths never really was my bag. Whatever, I'll, I'll still be at the Treasury. You were at the Treasury? Yeah. yeah. Chancellor's an old mate of my dad. What's his name? Norman Lamont. No, my dad. Nice of him. Lamont, do you think so? <laughs> oh, he struck me as a brainy old coat. <laughs> Bloody good bloke, actually. Do you know him? Uh. This has been a glimpse of Britain's future. Sad, isn't it? <laughs>